What's going on? It's your big brother, Trent. Once again, you tuned in to another exclusive video. What I'm about to tell you, man, it is it's mind blowing, man. And, you know, there are some people out there that, that might not believe this, but it's real. It's, it's, it's real as I'm about to explain it to you. All right. And if you a highly spiritual person like myself, then you totally understand what I'm about to tell you in this video, because it's about to get really scary and it's going to get really supernatural like all right but this video is not aimed to f make you fear anything it's just to make you aware of what's going on in the spiritual realm right now okay also first and foremost do not respond to anybody in the comment section telling you to whatsapp them or telegram the money folks that is not me okay i would never ask you to invest in me or nothing like that that's that total spam and scammers okay so beware be smart Stay tuned to the end of this video. Your big bro trend got something very special for you. Now, first and foremost, after this video, I'm going to need your opinion, okay, in the comment section about what you think and, you know, just some advice, all right? Because I'm reaching out to y'all for help. I'm humiliated. I'm vulnerable, okay? And one thing I'm not afraid to do is to ask for help, okay? And so I'm going to tell, tell you what I need you to help me with. Um, towards the end of this video. But anyway, um, folks, listen, the more spiritually intellectual you become like on your journey and, you know, if you got a relationship with the most high, um, you just start to see things totally different from just the average person. Like you start to see things that are in the spiritual realm that other people cannot see. Okay. The, the more you just become aware, you know, the more you just, um, you know, you just, you just go on your journey, man. And you just, you know, you take up your cross, man. And you just, you walk in this path, you're going to start seeing some weird things and it's going to blow your mind. It's going to make you second guess yourself. Like, is that real? Did I really, did this really just happen? Did that really just happen? And so, you know, the, and, and, and as times go on, y'all in this world that we living in nowadays, folks, you're going to see more spiritual warfare. All right. I'm sorry, but it's getting to a point now where I can literally see these spirits like on people, like inside of people, like these negative dark entities. Like I'm starting to see these spirits. They starting to come out more like not even hide no more. It's just like in plain sight. It's like, yo, we really fighting a battle against good and evil in the spiritual realm and it's and it's manifesting in the physical 3d world you feel me but at the end of the day here's the beautiful thing about it if you really got a relationship with the most high god folks none of that stuff bothers you none of it can't bother you all right and so what i'm about to tell you in this video it don't really bother me like that because I mean, I'm used to it. I'm used to spirituality. I'm used to seeing things that other people can't see. Like, it don't really bother me like that. I just, I'm I'm fascinated to learn more about it and see what you know about it, okay? But anyway, man, y'all, listen. So, man, there is a succubus that is attracted to me. I know that sounds crazy, but... You know, I looked up what this could be, and the first things I seen was like succubus, incubus, spirit. Uh, I think they, I don't know, some kind of being um, in a different world or whatever. But like, man, there is this succubus that is, I guess, attracted to me or something. And the only way I get to see her is when I go to sleep and I go into like the spiritual realm, you know, when I'm sleep. Because when, when you sleep, that's when you like your spirit is able to roam in the spiritual world, you know, versus you being awake. You see what I'm saying? So, um, man, this the like, this the second time. Well, actually, like the third or fourth time I've had a, a succubus attack on me, man. And it always happens when I go to sleep. It always happens when I go to sleep. Remember the first time I told y'all, like, you know, I'd be like, I'd be... I was literally, I, I was laying in my bed one day and I was going to sleep. And it, it like I said, it, it kind of happens. You kind of begin to see this stuff when you like dozing off, kind of like you sleep, but you still woke a little bit. You know what I mean? So it's like you tap into your, 
your spirit. But at the same time, like you still awoke to where you can notice like, oh, I heard this and I hear this. I felt that, you know, I've, I've been in situations like when I'm going to sleep, I've I've noticed the covers moving off my body, like, you know, just the sheets moving around in my feet. You know, I'm like, I'm feeling this stuff happen consciously, but I'm still kind of like dreaming, but I, I feel it. You know, I've had, um, I've been laying in, the, in my bed, like on the left side of my bed, you know, with my back turned to the opposite side. And I've literally heard like pressure of somebody getting in my bed, like laying down, moving around in my bed. And, you know, I turn around and look and I, I mean, I don't, you know, of course, you're never going to see it when you awake to like figure out like what's going on. Like, but you know, somebody's there and it's like, you can't see it though. And it's like, um, like I say, just last night, man, um, I had this, this little, I had this dream where I was walking around in my, uh, condo. I was walking around in my condo. My spirit body had astral projected and I was in walking around in my condo, like at nighttime. And, um, I seen this I seen this this figure. Well, it was something it was like one of the podiums inside my condo was broken. And I'm like, somebody broke my podium? I mean, I'm dreaming, of course. But then I then I looked to my right beside the podium. It was like this entity, like this this woman entity, and it was she's all black. She's all black. You can't really see her, no figure, you can't really see no details on it except for her eyes and hair. She's all black. And she just started hitting me like with this piece of paper, like this rolled up piece of paper, like in my head, like hitting me. Like, I'm like, yo, yo, like, you know, like what the, you know, what the, and you know, I got the interpretation that this, this, this succubus was mad at me. Like not like mad at me, mad at me, but like upset, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, this happened last night, but it came back again after that little dream because i had woke up and at that point i couldn't sleep like it was hard for me to sleep i had to get up grab some water you know what i'm saying and i was praying in my mind and stuff like you know just staying peaceful staying you know trying to stay cool calm and collected because i'm always cool calm and collective you know i'm just relaxed i'm like you know what i don't fear nothing you know i don't fear that stuff i don't i really don't fear nothing like like that so i'm, I'm sleep again right i'm sleep again then all of a sudden, like the way I was sleep, I was sleeping on my on my chest, and I had my arms like on my side like that when I was sleeping, and I'm just sleeping like that on my pillow, you know, because it was a comfortable way for me to sleep. Then I feel like this, then I feel like this, this these little, you know, these jokes on my back, like like on my back, like something like getting trying to get my attention, and my arms. Is locked up. I feel, I feel arms around my arms, like while I'm sleeping like that. It's like arms that was coming around my arms like this while I'm like sleeping like that. And I'm just feeling like this jolt on my back. And I'm just like, I'm just thinking to myself as I'm slow, slowly waking up, like, cause I'm acting like I'm like, yo, what the? I can't even, I couldn't move. It was, I, it had me so tight, like in my, like in a lock, I couldn't even move. And I'm just like, so I just sat there for like four seconds feeling this little this little bumps on my back or whatever. And I know somebody got their arms around me, bro. I know it, it just was well, arms. So um after like five after like five, six seconds of this happening, I just I I, I yoked away from it. Like I I jerked it away, I jerked away from it, like, like get off me. Like, and I just turned and I looked and over top of my back was this dark silhouette of a woman and i'm just staring at her like i'm staring at her eyes because you can see white eyes but i'm staring like one second two seconds and i'm just looking at her she looking at me and i'm just like and after like four seconds of me just looking at her i just turn my head like this and then it all went away and i'm just like i didn't even i ain't even have nothing to think i was just like Okay, I see what this is. I see what's going on. You know, it's a it's a spiritual it's a spirit it's some spiritual warfare going on. I'm gonna have to get prayed up for real now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm already you know I'm already covered. You know what I'm saying? I'm already I'm already be be focused on. You know, the only thing I forgot to do though. This is what I've been not doing lately. 
praying before I go to sleep. You feel me? And that's really important, y'all, when you're dealing with spiritual stuff like this and you dreams and, you know, succubus and incubus and stuff, folks. I'm telling you, you got to get into a habit of saying your prayers before you go to sleep. OK, listen, I got the Bible beside my bed. That ain't even enough. That ain't enough. It don't matter if you got the Bible open beside your bed or wherever you sleeping at. It, that ain't that, bro. That don't mean nothing. Just having it open. Man, you're going to have to, you got to really get in spirit and in prayer right before you go to bed. If you go, if your, if your dreams take you that far into the spirit realm and you got all these entities you come into contact with when you sleep, you got to really get, that's a sign for me, Trent, I need to, you need to really get back into your prayer, your prayer closet right before you go to bed, start praying, speaking to God, letting him know, listen, uh, you know, as I lay my head down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep, uh, you know what I'm saying? If I should out far away, pray the Lord. That was like the basic prayer I was raised on growing up. But, you know, you, you just basically got to, you just get basically got to put yourself in that, that higher spirit uh, consciousness before you go to sleep. Because I'm telling y'all, bro, that's when these entities, that's when people that like to do this so-called black magic stuff, this is when you see who is doing it. You you see who doing things to you because, like I said, your mind is turned off, but your brain still be working. You know what I'm saying? And like, um, man, it's just, it's real. Like it's really real, man. And um, it's just amazing to know that some of these entities, bro, some of these other world, some of these entities and these Decepticon. Uh, spirits and stuff like that, man. Like it just, it just. I mean, it's still kind of interesting to talk about it because you don't have people to talk about this on a regular basis because everybody be scared to explain it. Everybody be scared to discuss it because it's too much deep truth for them, and then nobody talks about this in church and nothing. But the whole Bible, even though the Bible is like a remix of the truth of of the true context it's like nobody really discussed the real spiritual stuff like you know what 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 happened when when jesus was walking and they said he cast spirits out of somebody and they got into some pigs and the pigs went and jumped to the lake see don't nobody want to talk about stuff like that because to them it's like too deep it's too scary and you're going too far into the spiritual world we have to stay religious and we have to just focus on this part of the of the scripture. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like nobody ever gave us answers on the spiritual world, but everybody had everything to tell you about religious stuff. You feel me? And it's just like, you know, I feel like talking to you, you know, I feel like you done been through some things like this before. And I feel like I'm not the only one who's experienced, you know, seeing these spiritual beings, you know, come into your reality or be in somebody else and they just have complete uh, uh, communication with you or something. You know what I'm saying? And again, folks, me personally, I just want to let y'all know about this. I'm not, I'm not afraid of, of nothing like that, but the only thing I ask for you, for me is to make sure that you keep me in your prayer when you start saying your prayer tonight. All right. Because I do have to get up here every single day, you know, I have to deliver to you great content all the time. And this is my job. However, you know, in order for me to keep the content going smoothly and, 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 and just being great content, folks, you know, I got to be prayed up, you know, and I got to make sure that y'all, um, you know, y'all understand where I'm at because I can't get on here and make videos and my spirit is not filled you know, like it normally is because I'm I'm getting spiritual warfare attacks over here. You get what I'm saying? So all I'm asking, you know, is that you just keep me in your prayer when you go to sleep at night, man. And, and, and you know, just, you know, just know that everything is all right on my end. But I had to discuss this topic with y'all because, like I said, it's something that nobody talks about and stuff like that. But this this spiritual dark entity is attracted to me y'all like and uh, i'm she gonna go away i mean whatever it's gonna go away you know what i mean but um i'm just letting y'all know man being a spiritual person out there bro you are a light 
you know, and you are attractive to a lot of people, a lot of things. And sometimes people do nasty things just because they're so attracted to you, just because they like you so much. They they say nasty things to you, you know. Some of these dark negative spirits, you know, they 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 don't, you know, they don't want to come to you most of the time and harm you. They they really just trying to get you to believe in them, like you know, like hey, like hey, look, 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 come and join us or something. You know what I mean? Like it's just like they, you know, you know, because when when people paint the picture of some of these. Uh, some of these Decepticon spirits, like it's, it's most people paint the picture of being in fear, but you don't have to fear them because we got the power at the end of the day. You understand? We got the spirit of God at the end of the day. So nothing can harm us. Nothing is going to come upon us. Okay. However, that's only if you stay in prayer. So um, I'm going to be praying today, man, over my place and everything. And, you know, even though I don't really too much believe in the sage, I'm definitely going to burn some of this lavender sage today, man. And I'm going to shoot it around and I'm going to be talking to God at the same time. Cleanse my place and stuff like that. So, um, you know, just some spiritual stuff. Also, man, look, Iris Say Moss. Make sure you get you some. Got the Iris Say Moss gummies right here, too. Make sure you get you some Iris Say Moss, man. This stuff is healthy. I'm about to take me some right about now. <laughs> it's my morning dose. So I'll just take two. There you go, right there. I'm healthy. That being said, man, make sure you leave your comment, leave some feedback. Let Big Bro know what you think about this video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this video if it resonated with you. Peace.